In this video, we are going to discuss about carry save multiplier. In the previous video, we have discussed about array multiplier. The drawback of array multiplier is there are large number of critical paths there. Therefore, the efficient realization of multiplication can be obtained using this carry save multiplier by passing the carry downwards instead of passing the carry diagonally for that one we have included the extra vector merging adder that is T merge here in order to generate the final result. The resulting multiplier is called as carry save multiplier because the carry bits are not immediately adder but it is rather saved for the next adder stage. So here you can see um, we are going to multiply uh, 4 bit of x with 4 bit of y. So if I multiply this values, I will get nearly 16 partial products. So first I am obtaining x0, y0. So this is x0, this is nothing but x0, y0 that is passed to the z0. Next, x1, y0, x1, y0, and x0, y1. These two get multiplied and it is given to a half adder. So, the sum I am getting at the z1 and carry I am passing to the next stage. Okay. So, in carry multiply, what in array multiply, what we have done, uh, we have passed it to the uh, diagonal stage. Uh, we are passing to the right side right so instead of that uh, we have uh, pass the carry to the downwards so similarly for this one we require a half adder for this one we require a half adder and for this one also we require a half adder so basically this value is zero okay and so these two get added using a half adder we will get sum and carry so this sum is added with this one x0 y2 and carry of this one by doing it so we will get the value of z2 and the carry of this one is passed downwards so for that one we require a full adder so if the input is 3 we require a full adder if input is 2 we require a half adder so in similar way uh, we have drawn this circuit and uh, finally the output is given to a half adder followed by a full adder followed by a half adder followed by a half adder in order to obtain the z4 z5 z6 and z7 okay so uh, we will get an another output that is z8 also we are getting so in order to determine the critical path Uh, we consider for obtaining the sum it will take one second and uh, obtaining the and get one second and t carry is one second so the output is one 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 because uh, it is uh, it is uh, the result obtained from the and gate so it is one 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 okay 
and uh, for full adder we require a uh, we have a sum and carry so already uh, we have taken one um, one second so not obtain the sum it will take another one second so it is two similarly for carry also it is two okay so you can see this is two this is one and this is two okay so the maximum time uh, uh, the input reaches is two seconds so uh, not to obtain the sum it will take uh, one more second right so it is three and this is also three similar way you can see this is two this is one and this is two so sum and carry will take three three seconds so similarly this is also three 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 why because this is two and this is one okay so similarly you can see for this and gate it will take one second and this is three so it will take four four second to obtain the sum and carry so similarly this is three so you will get four four this is three so it is get you are getting four at the four second you get the output so you can see when whenever um, uh, so all the you can uh, go through any path so all the path after four second you will get the output so all the output are reaching at four second to the vector adder merger so i can write the critical path tp is equal to t merge plus this ripple carry adder so the ripple carry adder value is so uh, sorry so this is your ripple carry adder so the ripple carry that is t merge that is equal to m minus 1 into t carry plus t sum why it is so because you can see uh, this is your sum so one so this is your carry one two three so uh, m is 4 here m is 4 here because 4 inputs so 3 into t carry plus t sum 1 into sum so 3 carry plus 1 sum so this is your t merge and uh, since uh, all the values are reached at uh, 4 seconds we can ch you can choose any any path okay so first uh, we have to generate the uh, output of the and gate so t and plus in order to reach this point uh, i have to pass either through this point right uh, this value this is one carry two and three okay so that is why i have written four minus one t carry uh, if I want to choose uh, some other value, right? Um, for example, this one: one, two, and three. Okay. So, the critical path for this one is carry save multiplier. Yes, T merge plus M minus one into T carry plus T end. So it has an advantage that its uh, worst, case, worst case critical path is uh, very much uh, smaller compared to the array multiply. So that's all about the video. Thank you.